Hello and welcome to PM Studios Java Programming Tutorials number 3. Today we'll be going over strings and revisiting the Hello World program. Uh, gonna go ahead and spruce it up with a little user input, um, make it more interesting for the programmer yourself and for the user at the end of the program. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can tell I've already imported uh, java.util.scanner. We will be using that uh, for most of the duration of these uh, programming lessons I would imagine. Uh, in terms of what we've already done, I've created a class called it string overview, and I've created our main method. So inside the main method, we're going to go ahead and declare a string and our scanner. So string name, and the scanner is going to be scanner input as always. Equals new scanner system dot in. Okay, once we have those um, entered and processed, we're going to go ahead and do system dot, uh, yeah, system dot out dot print line, and we're going to say, please enter your first name. Okay, and I need to get rid of this brace right here, so we're just going to backspace that real quick. Okay. And once we have that done, we're going to do name equals input dot next. This is all pretty rudimentary. We've gone over this in a couple of tutorials before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, next, we're going to go system dot out dot print line. And this is where we're going to be revisiting the Hello World program. So we're going to say hello, put a space, or rather a comma, and then a space. And then close the quotes, then plus name add the end, and we're going to put an exclamation mark, welcome to the Java experience. Another exclamation mark, close the quotes, close parentheses, close off the end. Okay, so what we should be able to do is we should be able to compile this, and as you can see, I've already saved it as strings overview. I'm just going to save right over that. Once it's compiled, you should be able to push F5, and it should ask you for your first name. I'm just going to type in Riz. It's going to say, hello, Riz. Welcome to the Java experience, and we actually need to put a space right here. That's why you always want to run your tests before you uh, send off your program. Okay, so if we were to recompile that... Alright, there we go. Now it all comes out fine. Now before we uh, conclude this tutorial, because I know it's a relatively short one, strings are pretty self-explanatory, they're very basic. Um, they're also very helpful though. Uh, I do want to point out that strings themselves are a library that is pre-imported into the actual, uh, um, the actual IDE whenever you create a brand new class. So in order to figure out exactly the capabilities of the, uh, of the library that we're going to be using, which is string, um, we would go here to Google and you could do a simple search for Java 6 API. As you can see, I, I use it quite a bit, so it's at the top of my list. You simply click on that link and here you'll see that it has, right over here, a list of all the classes and all the libraries that you can import. So to save time, you would just simply do a search for string and you jump down to number 9, it looks like, or rather 8, and that would be just the plain old string class and then you go about one-third the way down the page and it gives you all of the possible methods that you can call inside of the class library. So you can see we have length, uh, it checks and re returns the uh, total length of the, the string, uh, it checks to see if the string is empty, uh, it gives you characters at certain locations, code points, so on and so forth. Um, but before we go too far into this, because I want you guys to go ahead and explore this on your own and, uh, you know, get a little familiar with this website and get a little familiar with looking up your, uh, your library classes inside of that so that you have that resource available to you, I just want to outline um, the four primary ones that you're going to be finding uh, most useful in everyday coding. And that would be length, we've got char at, substring, and we've also got concat. Okay, so length, like I said earlier, it will uh, return the total length of the string. 
Now, this is uh, important because if I were to type in my name is Riz, um, you know, if I were to type in Riz, so let's comment that out so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, that's a three letter word, so that has a total length of three. So if you were to type string.length and then you were to do name, or rather, actually, you don't even necessarily need to do that, you just need to do name.length. Um, that would return three. And likewise, char at goes off of the length. Um, and the important thing to n remember about programming languages is that none of them actually start counting at one. They consider zero as a uh, of a, a number that has a value added to it. So it, they will always start at zero and continue on. So the numbers or the positions you're looking for in this specific string are zero, one, and two. So say we wanted to get the z out of um, out of that string name. So we do um, string or rather name dot char at, and we do two, and that would return a z. Now substring is interesting in the sense that uh, you can create smaller strings out of that. So we could have another string that's called name two, and name two could equal uh, name dot substring zero comma one, which would return r. Um, the important thing to remember about this is that the first number is the starting location, the location that you'll be starting um, at your substring, and then the second number is the ending location of your substring. So if I were to do 0, 2, then it'd do ri, I believe. Substrings are a little t tricky, and it will take a little while to, uh, to fully understand, but once you get them, they're very useful. And lastly but not least, we have the concat. Um, the concat's uh, method is short for concatenation, which means to stitch two things together. So if you were to do name.concat and then I-Z-A-L-E-O-U-S and put that in quotes, that would equal Rosalius. Whoopsies. Can't even spell my own, and that actually needs to be A L E O U S. So, you would stitch on A L E O U S to the ending of R I Z, and you would get this total word. You can also do the same thing with, um, I don't know, for instance, car and shop. You could stitch them together to make car shop, and so on and so forth. That's a really bad example, but you get the idea. So, other than that, that's pretty much the very bare basics of Java programming and strings, specifically. Um, I hope to see you guys in, this next, in the next tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you.